So, a couple of classes into a hypnobirthing class, uh, we decided that we should look into doulas. At first, I wasn't sure that we needed one, but Vince was like, yeah, like let's get all the help that we can get, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like he was all about, let's get all the help that we can get, and so we decided we should start interviewing. So, Kara gave us a list of names of doulas that work closely with her, and we went through some interviews, and Connie just resonated with us. We, we clicked, and I felt like she had a lot of experience. She herself has delivered three babies unmedicated without a doula. That's amazing. And um, we had an interview, we picked her, we had her come for like three sessions, I think, before actual delivery date. And she talked to us about what we would expect and want. We, we wrote down like our birth plan. Um, she just got to learn a lot about us. I told her about my history, our history, and where we came from. And I told her that basically, I want her to be like a coach to me. I'm gonna be looking at her to tell me what to do. I'm just gonna trust her and just go with the flow. Yeah, and she also helped us, she really provided a 360 degrees approach where I have different focal point of creating an environment for her to be comfortable. She's really focused on delivering baby and what Connie did was really stood back and look at the, the whole picture, the entire picture, and help us fill in all the gaps and, and a lot of great suggestions that I think it only comes by experience. This stuff is not in the textbook or any kind of YouTube videos. This, she provided us real hands-on, anywhere from assessing our home, uh, looking at our setup, all the way to talking about our ideology, our, our plans, uh, delivery plans, and uh, it, was, it was excellent help. Huge. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Connie. And she brought a pelvis and showed us about, you know, how the pelvis opens up and the baby moving through. She brought actually a doll, like a life-sized doll that felt like heavy too, like the weight of a baby and we practiced like holding her. And, and she showed us how the baby goes through the canal. Um, so it was educational, getting us prepared. But it was also very relaxed and she didn't give us too much information and overwhelm us with the whole thing. Kind of went with the flow and we just got a very good vibe from her. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without her. So originally I wasn't sure I needed a duel. I wasn't sure what a duel would really do. But now I'm just like, I wouldn't have gone this path if it wasn't for Connie. I would not have been. And she totally caught me. She read me. She understood me. She knew that I don't want to know a whole lot. I don't want to know how many centimeters dilated I am. I'm going to have my 40 blinks on, my headset on, <laughs> I'm going to be in my own zone. But anytime she needed me, she would lift up my headset and kind of tell me, okay, on the next surge, I want you to do this and put your leg like this, you know, different movements to try to help the baby move down and suggesting, you know, to take a surge over here on the bed with the medicine ball. And then, okay, time to go to the restroom while you're there, take a few surges on the toilet because that's a great position. Yeah. So she was like an amazing guide. Yeah. I wouldn't have known to do all this stuff on my own. She really quarterbacked the whole uh, delivery at the, at the hospital. She told me to take breaks. Uh, she kept an eye on her. Uh, she uh, worked with the nursing staff and, and the hospital staff very closely. And they spoke the same common language. So, Yes, amazing awesome. team with uh, Stacy, the nurse, and Connie. They were just like very much in sync. From uh, Palomar. Palomar Health in Poway. Palomar Hospital in Poway. And I would lift up my eye blinks just for a second and ask Connie, are we making progress? And she and Stacy both were like, yes. So they were like my cheerleader. So I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. As long as we're making progress, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And I powered through. I mean, Connie was incredible motivation. Yeah. I, seriously, I can't say enough about her. She's my angel.